Okay, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Elama 3 locally. Unfortunately, I'm only on a MacBook from 2021, and it's not really beefy enough to run the latest Llama 3.3 model with 70 billion parameters. So instead, I'm going to be using Llama 3.2 with vision capabilities, the 11 billion model. But um, if you have a better PC, maybe even own a good GPU, you can definitely run even better models locally. And you will learn how to do this with the tutorial you see in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and let's start building. All right, so we need a few things so that we can run the Llama models locally. First, you want to head over to olama.com and you want to download the application. You simply have to click download, choose your operating system, download the uh, respective installer and uh, well, install the application. Now, after you're done, you won't see anything. And this is because Olama is actually a command line tool, right? So. Um, if you're on Mac and you hover over the top bar, you will see the Olama logo. And if you click it, you can quit it, but you don't really have, as I've said, a graphical user interface. So what you want to do is you want to open your terminal and here you want to run the command Olama and then you get information about the command itself. As you can see, you have uh, the command like serve, create, show, run, and this is a good sign that Olama is installed on your computer, right? Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to head back over to olama.com. You want to click on models. And here you have a list of all the available models that you can run with Olama. Now, since I'm on a MacBook from 2021, uh, it's actually not beefy enough to run Llama 3.3, 70 billion. This is why I will go with the Llama 3.2 vision with the 11 billion version. And you can see once you choose the different version, this command here changes. It says 90 billion. And if I choose the 11 billion version, it says 11 billion. Now you wanna copy that command, head over to your terminal, and then you want to paste that command here. Now I won't do this because I've already installed the model and you can see the installed models by running the command Olama list. Now, as you can see, I currently have uh, the 11 billion version twice. This is because um, for the 11 billion version, so the first one I changed the context size window, but it's not really important for for this tutorial. So once you have done this, we need another software. And for that, you want to head over to anythinglm.com. And again, you want to click download for desktop. You want to choose your, um, your system and you want to download it. Now, once you're done with this and you open anything LLM, you will actually not see this window you will see something that looks more like this, where you have to choose your LLM provider. And if you click on it, you can see, okay, there are different providers like OpenAI, Azure, anything LLM, Anthropic, and so on. And you can choose either of those. So you can, for example, go for Anthropic, and then you can enter your um, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet API key, for example. But for this tutorial, since we want to run the model locally, you want to choose Olama. And if you click on the drop down, you will see the installed models on your machine. Now, you can also choose a different context window size. So in my case, I will go with 4096 because unfortunately, as I've said, my MacBook is not beefy enough to be able to have a bigger context size window, but you can also multiply it by four or by eight. So you have 16,000 or 32,000 context window. I think the max context size window for Olama, if we head over to this page here, Llama a model, you can see that the for the 11 billion version, it's 128,000 tokens. So this would be the max value that you can put inside here, okay? And here you can see the Olama base URL. This is usually uh, the LLM where your model is served, right? So what this 
software is doing it's basically making a request to your own machine that you can see here 127001 to this port now once you've set up this you will be redirected to this page and there you can create a workspace so in my case i went with demo workspace and then you will see this kind of chat gpt like chat window and now you can basically just interact with the model right so you can say who are you and as I've said, depending on your system specs, this may take a bit longer. So I will probably speed up the process if it's taken too long. Now, as you can see, it says I'm a professional web developer with a strong background in building scalable and maintainable applications using modern technology. And usually it's not doing this, right? Usually it says something like I'm the Llama 3.2 model from Meta, yada, yada, yada. And the reason why it's given this specific answer is if you click on the settings icon here in Workspace and you go to chat settings, you can set a prompt. So this is kind of like a system prompt, right? And as you can see, I've told it, you are a pro web developer who is a master of his craft and TypeScript, clerk authentication, Sushtan, 10 stack React query, Superbase, NeonDB, and so on. You follow coding best practices and you explain everything you do in an easily digestible manner. And this is basically the answer that we get inside of the chat window. Now, and this is basically all you need to do to set up the project and now you can work with it, right? So for example, maybe you wanted to create a Next.js skeleton so that you can start working uh, on your web development project. So for example, you can say, please set up a Next.js skeleton for me and walk me through the code. And then we'll hit enter and say, okay, let's create a Next.js 15 skeleton from scratch. And actually it goes ahead and says, okay, use NPX, create a next app at latest, which is great. So NPX, for those of you who don't know, it's a uh, package manager who helps you simplify setting up projects with Next.js. And then it also walks you through the rest of the code. So for example, we need to set up clerk authentication and we need to copy the API key and paste it into the .end file. And then it gives you the basic boilerplate code, so to speak. And this is really powerful because depending on the system prompt that you define inside of the settings, you can really turn the Olama model into a coding tutor, so to speak, completely for free, okay? I mean, of course you have to say it's not as powerful as for example, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, but if you're willing to make this trade-off of not having to pay $20, but still having a somewhat decent coding tutor and help you learn web development, for example, or programming in general, I think this is a very valid solution. So another thing that you can do, for example, is you can, since this is a vision model, you can add a file, okay? So you just have to click on this icon and then you can choose a file. So in my case, I will go with this one. This is part of a weather app that I'm currently working on. Yeah, I know it's uh, kind of boring, but in the past few videos, I figured that uh, it's kind of hard for me to fix the bugs some LLMs create when they help you write the code. So this is why I decided to uh, create a weather app to understand things like data fetching, uh, caching, state management and all these things. I'm actually gonna upload a, another video where I walk you through the process of manually writing this application so that you can understand um, how these things work under the hood, right? So, but just to show you how it works is we can ask a question, okay, please tell me what you can see in the screenshot. And this will probably take a bit longer, as I've said, depending on your machine specs. Now for me, it takes quite a while. I think it's like uh, 60 to 90 seconds or so. So I will probably speed up the process and then I will show you the answer. Now, as you can see, it explains what it sees in the image, which is pretty neat. And the big advantage compared to just running Olama inside of your terminal is that you get this kind of formatted output, right? You can directly copy the code. Uh, you have the syntax highlighting and it's just a lot easier to understand and to work with, right? Now, there's actually a an even better way to uh, use this model inside of your coding IDE directly. And this is 
Klein. Now I would love to show you how it works. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it work because my computer is just not beefy enough, but I will still walk you through the process, okay? So what you wanna do is you want, as I've said, head over to VS Code, and then you want to go into the extensions tab and you want to search for a Klein. And for those of you who don't know Klein, check out the other video I made about that. I will probably drop a card inside of this video here at the top right or somewhere. And essentially Klein is another AI assistant that can help you write code, as you can see here, right? Meet Klein, an AI assistant that can use your CLI and editor, and this is uh, where the name stems from. And the creator of Klein says, it best works with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, but it also has the option to work with other LLMs. So in this case, you want to click this input field and you want to write show Klein, and then you will see this window. And here you want to click on settings and you want to choose an API provider. Now, if you want to go with Anthropic, you can always do this, right? You can choose Anthropic, you have to paste your API key, and then you want to choose the model that you want to use. Now, if you want to use Klein locally or with a locally hosted model, you want to choose Olama because this is what we're using to host our current Llama model, right? And you don't have to change anything about the base URL. And as you can see here, it automatically detects which models you have installed or downloaded on your machine. Now, in my case, I want to go with Llama 3.2 Vision 11 billion, right? Maybe, you know what, let's try it with the latest version. So we'll see if that works. So we'll do done. And then you want to click Klein open a new tab and you want to uh, head back over to your project structure. Now, in my case, I've created a new directory called it Olama demo. And now you just have to write the command what you, what you wanted to do. So please help me set up a Next.js 15 skeleton in the current directory. And we'll see if this works, probably not, because as I've said, if we have a look at uh, my activity monitor, you can see that it's quite intensive, right? It's currently running with 9.6 gigabytes. I only have like 16 gigabytes of physical memory and it just takes a long time to, to answer. But if you have a better machine, I will do cancel because as I said, it just takes too long. But if you have a better machine, it actually works quite well and you can use it inside of your coding IDE directly, which is pretty neat. guys. So this was basically it for this video. And if you want to learn together, please consider joining my free Discord. You can find the link to the Discord server in the video description down below. And maybe I will see you in Discord.